got a startling story now about our freshwater fish. A new report this week showed that one third of freshwater fish species are threatened by extinction. They're vanishing at alarming rates. In fact, 16 freshwater species disappeared last year alone. Justin Kolar talked with scientists in West Michigan to see if it's as serious of a threat to local species as it is for those around the world. Justin. Well, Teresa and Casey, unfortunately, it is. Several fish species that live right in our own backyard are now listed by the Michigan Department of Natural Resources as threatened. And if conditions worsen, we could lose those fish forever. You know, that's sort of your canary in the coal mine. A warning to us all. Freshwater fish disappearing at a rapid rate from rivers right here in our own backyard. If, you know, the fish are not doing well in our streams and lakes, that's sort of an indicator of, of bigger problems that are eventually going to become an issue for us as humans as well because we need that clean water. Problems caused by the construction of dams, deforestation, overfishing, invasive species, and chemicals. All have taken their toll on the Great Lakes Basin and greatly reduced fish species right here, like the lake trout in sturgeon. It's already completely wiped out the Arctic grayling. The grayling went from being, you know, so abundant that people are catching hundreds a day to, to not, not existing anymore by the 1930s. They were completely wiped out. Attempts to reintroduce this exotic looking fish have been made unsuccessfully in the past, but all hope is not lost. They're trying to go at it, I would say, in a much more scientific uh, perspective this time around. Now they have help some liquid courage. The distillery makes charitable contributions and we uh, tied that really to the launch of our first um, spirit, which is uh, the, uh, the Arctic Railing label um, commemorating this first rye whiskey, which is sold statewide. Ironfish Distillery, located along the Betsy River in Benzie County, has joined dozens of other businesses to protect the watershed and restore the fish. Bringing back the Arctic grayling to us is a barometer of which way the environmental health of our watersheds is going. If we're successful in reintroducing the Arctic grayling, which was a fish that thrived, was prolific in Michigan rivers, um, if we can bring those back, I think everybody in the state of Michigan be, can be uh, take a lot of pride in the progress that we've made. A pride found in restoration, restocking the rivers, bringing us all, even the fish, home. In the end, like, I think it's pretty clear, you know, we're all dependent on clean, fresh water, right? If we don't have fresh water, we're not going to be able to survive. Now, I do have good news to share with you guys. Our state's very first brood of Arctic grayling are in our state. Fish from Alaska arrived to the Upper Peninsula where they'll be quarantined and raised there. Scientists we spoke with say we're still about five to ten years away from reintroduction statewide. Now, for more information, be sure to check out the website migrailing.org, and we'll also have more details on where you can pick up a bottle of Ironfish Distillery's Arctic Grayling Rye Whiskey for yourself on our website this morning, woodtv.com. And guys, I know in the past they used to say, like, you drink like a fish as a bad thing, but maybe that might be a compliment now. Maybe not with the whiskey. Right. In my <laughs> Thanks, Justin.